Welcome to Maddie's Daddy. If you want to learn about the Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker, stick around. We'll be right back. Introducing the Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker. We're going to talk about this in detail and why you should or shouldn't get this. All right, I've already unboxed this thing, so you won't actually see an unboxing of this. Um, instead, I'm just going to show you the rocker itself, show you some of the, the features of the rocker. Here is the Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker I was talking about, yeah. and it's somewhat fully assembled state. It is missing one feature that I will tell you about here in a minute. This is a relatively easy assembly. It doesn't take really a whole lot of experience to uh, be able to assemble this. The instructions, once you sort through the various languages, are relatively easy to figure out. It's just a few screws in the sides. Um, here, here, gotta install this. Uh, and then of course this uh, material that goes over the uh, frame, over the frame itself, you heard Maddie back there. And just a few snaps here, a few snaps there and you're pretty much ready to go. This thing right here has a couple of buttons on the side you'll see where if you push the buttons on the side you can fold it back farther or fold it back forward. I was a little disappointed in this feature. I thought it might actually fold forward a little bit more than it does but that's as far as it goes. You'll get to see it when it's on the ground. When you fold it back there's really not that much difference. It just lays back just a little bit more and um, there's really not much more to that. On the front here, you will see that it has a little, uh, a little plastic piece that vibrates and it helps soothe infants and such. Turn this on. I don't have batteries installed in this right now. We don't really use the vibration feature, but if your baby likes that kind of thing, it's not a bad thing to do. As far as accessing the battery compartment, it's pretty easy. You just pull this down and lift, lift it up and the battery compartment's right there. You do need a really small uh, Phillips head screwdriver to access the battery compartment, and I guess that's for child safety and such. Really easy to install back over. You just pull this uh, material down, put it over, and it's good to go. You'll see on the back side, it has these various warnings like, don't actually use this as a carrier. Um, not a good idea to pick it up by the sides and carry it around like I do. Um, definitely shouldn't do that but it does slide really well, especially on carpet. Um, you may be noticing some of these things on the back. This little thing right here that just holds the uh, material into place. This right here, it flips out. It's a little kickstand, so you can actually lean it back. And I'll have to show you this here in a minute on the ground. These are safety security latches here, and pretty self-explanatory. Just put these in here. Put your daughter or son or your child in here. S snap them in, they're good to go. This thing is great for if you want to do chores either in the kitchen or in a various room where you don't want your child either laying on the floor or crawling around or you don't really have a place for them, then this is the ideal. This is a good thing to have. You can just put them right there. They can stare at you or sleep or play with a toy or whatever. There is a little uh, toy that goes along with this that <laughs> easily snaps into the sides. All right, there it is. All right, so you see you have you know, your, your child can play with these little gadgets up here at the top, and there's a little um, thing that once they get used to grabbing and pulling things, you'll, it's really cool development to see them reach up and actually pull this themselves. We started out just helping her out, but now she'll reach up and do it herself. So we pull this. The batteries are actually included with this little toy. They're really weird batteries. They're like little watch type batteries. Um, I thought that was strange. So. Whenever you go to replace these batteries, it's going to be harder to find the batteries. It's not your normal batteries. These really easily snap out so you can get your child out. See, little tabs on the side right there. That's how you get these in and out. There you go. And so that is the actual fully assembled Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to place Maddie in the infant to toddler rocker and uh, we're going to just see how she likes it. All right, let me introduce Madeline to you. This is Maddie. She is our daughter. She is a little cutie pie. And so this is real easy to strap in. We just pull this thing up here, snap it in there, pull this up over here. Make sure we got it straight. 
step it in and it's got adjustment. So there's her little rocker there. There's the, there's the rocker fully assembled and I'll uh, kind of rotate it here so you can completely see it. There the warning label, there are the snaps. Um, there's the button right there to push. You have to push both sides. I'm going to show you what happens when we actually push the buttons and lean her back. So that is set actually sitting up. And I guess whenever they're toddlers, they lean forward and their weight pushes them forward and that's how they're able to do this as a toddler. But she's still an infant. So if we want to lean it back, we're going to push these buttons on the side and it goes back. So, so you see, she didn't really go back that much. I'm gonna do it again here. Push the buttons on the side, lift her up, and there it is. That's as far up as it goes. I think that's really strange. That's really my only disappointment with this. And here's the kickstand right down here on the side, as you see. If we take this kickstand and we pop it for lift her up, lean her back, pop it forward, then it's stationary. It's no longer a rocker. So she could actually sleep in that if she wanted to. So I'm gonna push this back down and we're back to rocking. As you see, we have carpet here, so it real it slides really easily. We go back and forth. I'm going to put the little toy gadget on here and show you that. Here we go. There she goes. She's reaching up for it. Also, you'll see right here in the front, you'll see the Fisher Price, and actually it's on right now, but you'll see the button right here, and or the switch rather. And this switch is what turns on the vibration unit. This vibration unit is just right here in the front and it causes, I haven't actually used this, but from what I understand and other various toys that I've used, it actually causes uh, the unit to vibrate. Again, this is the Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker. Um, you've seen the various features. It is an easy assembly. So only a few things required, like a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, a regular number two, and also maybe a very small uh, Phillips head screwdriver if you want to replace the batteries. Um, this infant to toddler rocker we have used probably has been one of the things we have used more than almost anything. It almost travels with us anywhere we go, especially when we're seeing family and we know we're all going to be around the dinner table eating and we want somewhere to put her if we don't have a high chair handy. This is not a bad substitute just to set her down on the floor beside you while you're eating and such. So, Again, we've used this thing I don't know how many times. We don't always take this little toy part. This, this thing moves back and forth. Uh, to my disappointment, it does not move that far. The um, pivot is not that far. That is about the only disappointing thing about this. You can use the kickstand to set them back up so that they can lay down and not actually rock. It has a security strap in here. It has a little feature for vibration for keeping them comfortable. And this, uh, this ranges on Amazon between $40 and $50, uh, depending on which rocker you get. Um, you may find it cheaper elsewhere, but I just looked on Amazon and that's about what it, range, it ranges. And there are various types of um, infant to toddler rockers, various colors and things. One more thing I think I should mention, you may be wondering what this hole is for. And I am also wondering what this hole is for. I'm gonna have to do a little research on that. This is interesting because I didn't know what was, hey Maddie, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what in the world this large slot was for whenever I first started this review. Uh, but I've done, done a little research in the um, instruction manual and I figured out what this actually is. This is to put it into toddler mode so that you, um, your toddler, once they don't need the restraints anymore, they have a way to sit in it and all this stuff all this stuff isn't in the way anymore so basically this stuff comes down through here and actually I think you can pull this stuff out I'm just I'm gonna give you the quick version and this goes back through here and once that's back through there and these straps here are out then your toddler can sit in it and since they no longer need restraints it's out of their way. If you're thinking about getting this chair, I would suggest, or this rocker, I would suggest doing it as soon as possible if you have one coming. You can use it pretty much from the day they're born until, you know, Maddie's six months. And of course, this could go all the way through the time that she's a toddler. 
She's getting a little fussy, so I better take care of the baby. Thanks for visiting, and please subscribe right down below. Fisher Price entered. Uh, let's start that over.